this is Eric with Go Engineer Tech Support. Have you ever wanted to put multiple dimensions for different features? So in today's quick video, we'll be going through how to add a design table onto a drawing just as you're seeing right here, so we can achieve just that. We'll go ahead and start with a part that I already have made. This part right now just has the default configuration. So you must make sure that your sketch is actually dim dimensioned properly since you will be controlling all of these dimensions with the design table. You cannot create configurations without having dimensions to configure. So I'll go ahead and just insert a design table. I'll leave all of these settings on default. And the first time that you make the design table, it'll ask you what dimensions to bring in. I'll go ahead and select all of these. So what we're going to do is just create a couple of configurations for different scales of this part. So all I'll do here is just add the name for the, the description for the configuration. Uh, let's say half. I guess this can be one. So here, what you'll want to do is use Excel's um, formula functionality. So I'll just go ahead and say equals, since this is half, the cell above. And the same here, equals. 0 0.1 times the cell above, enter and propagate the formula. I'll go ahead and get out of the design table. It will tell me the configurations that have been created. I now have these available right here. So let's go ahead and make a drawing. And we'll just use the drawing sheet. Uh, let's make sure we're in the right units, inch pounds. Bring up the palette, drag in the view. And I could have used the palette to bring in the all of the dimensions, but I'll go ahead and use model items. And since there's only two drawing views, I'll use the entire model. So I'll go ahead and move these dimensions somewhere a bit more comfortable. To see and to to bring in the design table if you don't select anywhere and just go to enter tables design table will be grayed out you'll want to click on the drawing view for a part that does have a design table and SolidWorks will bring it in now what you see here is exactly the same design table you will see in the parts um, design table. So to be able to modify it to see what you want to see, you'll want to format it there. You could also come right here, right click it and select edit in worksheet to bring it up in Excel. Um, once again, this window is coming up to remind me that there's other components that I, from the configurations that I could bring in, but I really don't want to have any more. So let's see. Now in Excel, you'll want to make sure these columns stay where they're at. They're very important for SOLIDWORKS to be able to know where to get the dimensions from. So I'll go ahead and add a row on the top and then start with my lettering convention. The column for scale one, I will call description and I'll add one more row that I will call part number so here you could use Excel to make up some other naming convention that you like 
go ahead and save this and close it now here in the part as I mentioned whatever you see here is what you will see on the table in the drawing so if you only want to see these cells you'll want to modify it so that is the case I clicked away from the table so it gets so the design table gets saved and I'm going back to the drawing I'll save it I'll rebuild And as you can see, I now have, oh, I misspelled that. I now have the same table that I had that was seeing in the part. So the reason I did not hide this at the moment is so I can actually make sure I'm pointing at the right dimensions for the right features. So D1 will be A. Instead of the dimension that should come up, I'll just go ahead and write A. I will be told that this is going to break the link. Okay, and this one here is D4. D4 is D. Next, D3. D3 is C. This D2. D2 is B. D5, that's E. And D6, that's F. And the thickness, which is D1 both extrude, which is G. Okay, I'll go ahead and relocate these. To fix up this table, I'll go ahead and right click it and select Edit in Worksheet. I'll come here and hide that row. and this as well since it's just the title I call this part number um, just give it a little bold so it's more presentable save and close I'll go in and select edit table so I can actually choose what's going to be seen but we seem to be already where we want to be. So I'll go ahead and click away, go back to the drawing, save, and rebuild. And there you have it. Seems like we're having a bit of a hiccup with this column. Let's go ahead and go over to the part itself, right click the design table, edit table, and change this here. here rebuild and there it goes it's updated and so now you'll be able to add as many different dimensions you would want uh, for the one part using the letters for reference this has been Eric with Go Engineer Tech Support thanks for watching mm -hmm.